Oh my god. Oh my god, I hate having a cold. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait. Wait, no, is it coming? No, it's gone. Fuck's sake. Yeah, I, why, why does that happen, guys? You know, you, you go to sneeze, you're about to sneeze, and then it goes away. Why, why, why do that? Why even show up in the first place? Fuck's sake. All right then, guys, uh, how's it going? It's JT Judgment here, as always. Welcome back to the channel. I'm not gonna lie, right off the bat, you guys could probably tell, you could probably see. I am I'm really smothering right now. I'm full of cold. I probably shouldn't be making this video, but you know, I thought screw it. I want to give myself something to do. So let's 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 jump straight in. Now I do need to apologize, guys. It's been a couple of days since you know since I made a video last. Um, I'm not gonna go over the details right now as to why I've been away. If you guys really, really want to know the reason why I've been gone, head on over to my Twitter. Uh, one of my most recent posts, guys, will, uh, you know, explain everything and, you know, it'll let you guys know where I've been. I also want to apologise, if you know, throughout the, this video, if I'm, you know, if I'm sniffing, if I start coughing, if I need to blow my nose, I'll probably edit stuff out and what have you. But, guys, I'm full of cold. <sighs> I feel like crap. Probably shouldn't be making this video or playing Supercard right now. But, you know, when, you know, when you're sick, guys, especially when you're full of cold, people tell you to go to bed. I don't like that you know as soon as I start lying down when I feel like feel like this it makes me feel worse so I want to give myself something to do so I thought you know what you know let's 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 make a video I haven't made a video in a few days I'm starting to miss you guys <laughs> uh, let's um, let's let's just jump into it and let's see what we've got for today shall we all right guys so I guess the very first thing that we can go over obviously you know it's not live in the game right now uh, but last weekend, a couple of days ago, the most recent event was for our very first female event in SummerSlam 18 tier, giving us that Ronda Rousey card that, you know, it split everyone apart. A lot of people hated it. Judging from the comments on Twitter and opinions on Twitter, there were very few people that liked it. You know, I got to say, when I first saw it, I didn't like it. And to this day, I still don't really like it. But I gotta be honest with you guys, you know, a little but a little time has passed. You know, I've seen it more and more, and it has grown on me slightly. But it's still really not my favorite design in the world. You know, the the background of it is okay. It's that Ronda image itself <laughs> on the card, guys. I'm not really a fan of it. Maybe if they made the image a little bit smaller, maybe that would have worked. But the way that that image itself works on different cards of Ronda as well, it just looks so bad. I'll be very surprised, guys, if there is another card that comes into the game in future that you will be able to use that image on and make it look good. But, um, yeah, it's just how it goes, guys. They tried something a little bit different. And while at the same time of it being something different, which is nice didn't really work out that much you know so regardless of what the image does look like guys it is an event card so it is going to be a good addition to anyone's deck that does go for it i myself you guys would either be seeing the footage on your screen right now or you would have already seen the footage right now i didn't do it live guys because you know a couple of days ago i didn't have a voice i still sound and feel like crap now but uh, i had to record the you know the screen on my phone I managed to get myself, I'm going to go ahead and assume, guys, that the footage has finished. So let's go into the live game. Let me go, not into wild mode, what are you doing? Let me scroll over, guys. Uh, female SummerSlam 18, oh, I'm already on it. So there we go, guys, there we have them. Uh, both Ronda Rousey cards, both of which have got the heroic upgrade uh, applied one from obviously rtg and one from ring domination now i'm not going to be proing ronda in this video guys because while this uh this ronda is done this one is far from being done as you can see around 10 maybe 15 games done uh on the stats on that ronda so i've got a little bit of work left to do on that card um and as soon as she is done i'll pro her out and she will make my third I've got a really stubborn itch in my nose here, guys. Oh, there we go. Right, like I was saying, yeah, Ronda, as soon as she's leveled out, as soon as she's been proed, she will make my third uh, SummerSlam 18 female pro. Now, over the past few days, guys, I have really been 
I've really been fretting over pulling myself a, a SummerSlam female off the board that makes a pro. If I go back into the females, guys, as you can see, I've got Natalia Pro, which I got very lucky and pulled off the board. You know, not long after she was announced as the 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 undercard in last week's Road to Glory, which made a pro. A very nice addition there. We've got Charlotte, which makes the second pro. Ronda, which is going to swiftly be the third pro. Then I've got Oscar, Sarah Logan, another Natalia, which I pulled off the board a couple of days ago, as well as a Charlotte, which was my most recent pull, um, and Sonya Deville. So I've got myself a couple of female pros, uh, or female singles, I should say, so I like to think, you know, in terms of pulling the female cards, I've got a half decent chance uh, at getting a pro. I completely, guys, completely forgot. Today I'm recording this video on Monday, the first of October. I can't guarantee when you guys are gonna, you know, gonna, you're gonna see this video. It all depends on the mood I'm in and whether or not I feel like editing this video sooner rather than later. I completely forgot about 2K19 coming out at the end of this week. And I am going to get myself that, you know, the special Ric Flair. Woo! <coughs> Excuse me, I'm not doing that again. <coughs> woo! <coughs> Bloody hell. Uh, the special edition, woo edition uh, of 2K19. And what comes with the special edition of 2K19? Some special cards for Supercard, being AJ Styles, Ric Flair, and Charlotte. So I'll be getting my pr myself a pro female with that pack. So I did all that worrying and fretting over nothing. So as soon as uh, 2K19 comes out next week, guys, or the end of this week, I will have myself a full lineup. If I go over to Last Man Standing, as you can see, I've got myself some pulls off of the board recently. Pulled myself an Adam Cole off the board, which made a pro. So that is uh, another card that slots into my lineup. I proed myself uh, this Tommaso Ciampa, which made a pro as well. So the male side of things for Last Man Standing is A-OK. -okay. As you can see here uh, on the bottom for the female side of things, all I've got to do is pro Ronda, which will kick out this Money in the Bank Alexa. And then I've got myself the Charlotte Pro coming with the 2K19 uh, which is going to be my fourth female pro. So, you know, in terms of my last man standing deck, I can really, you know, relax. I'm going to keep my Natalia and Charlotte as they are right now. And then I'll level everything up properly, guys, uh, at the end of this week once I level up both of the Charlotte cards. Um, and I go ahead and pro her so that I can, you know, get everything completely balanced out you know but that's my updates as to my last man standing deck let me know how you guys are getting on in the comment section down below i speak of last man standing because we've obviously got last man standing uh as the obviously the next event i've been hearing some rumors and some guesses on twitter that it's going to be the dead man i would absolutely love it if this week's last man standing is the undertaker it would make perfect sense because of this you know highly anticipated triple h versus undertaker you know end of an era or whatever they're calling it you know for the for the last time ever you know final time ever triple h and undertaker are going to face off triple h has already had a last man standing card back in wrestlemania 34 tier but Undertaker hasn't, guys. So if it is Undertaker, it'll put a smile on my face. It'll make me want to play the event. I just got to hope, pray, and keep my fingers, toes, and everything else in between crossed that I don't have as much of a problem at getting past Arena 64 this week, guys. If I do, then it's not going to be happy fun times. Let's just say that. So something else that we've got to look forward to as well, guys. If I go over to uh, to the, 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 the monthly logins, I, I did open mine last month, guys, but I didn't get anything. So, I you know, I'm not going to be including anything of last month's. I didn't get anything in the Hall of Fame. I think I got Ricky Steamboat for like the 50th time. And in the, the top pack, I think my best card was a monster. So it was absolutely useless. But obviously, we are in October now, guys. And what is the most notable thing about October? October 31st is Halloween. And, you know, Supercard, without a doubt, you know, no surprise, I've got Halloween stuff planned. 
the only thing that makes me slightly nervous, guys, is that it is to do with the fusion chamber. As you can see, one Halloween ingredient. We've got Halloween ingredients. This is what I really like. They're including the Halloween cards from last year. So if you missed out on some of the images or if you, uh, you, know, you just missed out on the cards that you wanted, you've got yourself some more chances to get them. Uh, some more ingredients as we go on. And then we've got the final cards, guys, which I'm not going to lie. The card design, it looks a lot better, in my personal opinion, than last year. You know, call me crazy, but I really do prefer this design over the one last year. We got a Halloween, guaranteed Halloween superstar, WrestleMania 34 to SummerSlam 18. Over, you know, rather than last year where you had to collect pumpkins. And then over the, you know, once the pumpkins were finished, they would blossom or whatever you want to call it into a superstar this time round we get a guaranteed superstar uh straight away the only thing that makes me skeptical about this guys is that it's to do with the fusion chamber and what is the one thing that everybody in the community wants to do with the ch with the chamber right now we want to be able to do two fusions at the same time if they continue to let us only do one fusion at once while they continue to pump out this special edition content or you know this special content within the fusion chamber it's just going to make it redundant and you know just useless to a lot of people because a lot of people will not be able to do them simply due to the fact that we currently have fusions running so cat daddy you know what we want just let us be able to do a normal fusion as well as a special edition fusion at the same time just let us have it you know it's it's not too much to ask for guys is it really so other than that guys we're going to move on to a couple of packs to finish off today's video i don't know what i've pressed the game is glitched oh well i've clicked on the pack by mistake don't want to go to the store quite yet guys but i want to wrap this video up guys because i'm starting to feel you know very very lousy i really do need to get some fluids in me maybe lie down for a little bit take a nap something but, uh, yeah we're gonna jump in like i said uh, to some packs i've got two team battleground packs to open we're gonna go over to the store we're gonna open up some free packs um as well as this throwback grab bag pack as well the best thing here would be eddie guerrero i know i say it a lot guys and if i say it too much i do apologize but it just goes to show how much i want the card you know i really really want to finally get that second wrestlemania 33 hall of fame eddie to get a pro so let's see guys let's claim we're probably going to get like a, a legendary or a survivor let's see what we get SummerSlam. stink useless let me jump on my phone guys and let's see what we get in the other one all right guys so i've jumped on my phone here now guys i've gone ahead i've watched the ad we've got the pack ready to open up just i all i can really hope for guys realistically i would just love something that i haven't had before so that it gives me a new image you know if i can get that then that's what i'm looking for from these free packs you know so let's see what we managed to get in this one it's probably going to be something like a survivor or a legendary but let's see what we get boom what is that is that an elite let's see what we get boom we get oh an, an, an elite dusty roads i'm genuinely surprised it's not ricky steamboat because that guy just seems to haunt me when it comes to elite cards in this game but we get something better than a survivor or a wrestlemania guys i can't be disappointed with that right okay guys so we are back on blue stacks now and we just claimed ourselves a throwback and a hall of fame from the free pack so let's open up this throwback grab bag pack for 250 credits and get two more throwbacks from this pack i'm not gonna lie guys i part of me doesn't want to open this pack to be perfectly honest because my luck with this pack has been terrible i think the best thing i've gotten from this you know grab bag pack is a wrestlemania 33 gold dust if that was a WrestleMania 33 Edge, it wouldn't be too bad because I haven't got the image of Edge yet. He's one of the only Mania 34 cards that I need or 33 cards that I need. But uh, yeah, I'm always hopeful, guys. 250 credits really isn't that much. From the credits I've gotten from the, the you know last month's login bonuses, this is pretty much a free pack anyway. We can only open one. 
why not guys you know let's have some fun we could get something absolutely insane so 250 credits guys let me know who you got in your pack if you did go ahead and open it that is in the comment section down below let's see if i get lucky enough to get myself something new at least or even something that i've been searching for for a long time let's jump in guys three two one boom yeah we get stuff that i don't want <laughs> Oh, I can't tell you guys how many times I've packed this million dollar man. Loads of times. And then we get an elite Trish Stratus. We got Trish Stratus a couple of videos back, guys, which gave me a pro. So, unfortunately, this pack is slightly useless. But like I said, guys, it was free. Pa it was a free pack pretty much after the credits given through the monthly logins. But, uh, yeah. Let's jump in, guys. Bobby Lashley is this week's ring domination or team ring domination for me personally. It doesn't make a pro. Let me know in the comment section down below if it does make a pro for you. And let's go ahead, guys, and jump into some team battleground packs, guys, because this video is going on for long enough. I know you guys, some of you guys have told me you enjoy the, you know, the longer videos. But, you know, in terms of me right now, I'm feeling lousy. I just want to stop and go to bed pretty much and, you know, have some food and stuff <laughs> so let's jump in i've got two packs guys i'm hoping i can get at least one SummerSlam 18 make me feel a little bit better let's see what we get guys platinum pack from team battleground number one out of two in three two one boom we get nothing how many times have i got to get a bold superstar out of a team battleground pack in wrestlemania 34 tier and it not be Steve Austin. Why does the game not want to give it to me? We get Big Show. We get Battle Point. Goliath. Brock Lesnar would be nice. Matt Hardy. Useless. A triple, another bot! I don't believe that. <laughs> All I want is a Stone Cold Steve Austin. The card is useless to me. I just want it for collection purposes. What do I got to do to get myself a SummerSlam 17? Uh, what am I talking about? WrestleMania 34. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Let's see if we get lucky out of the next one, guys. Claim the rewards. Three, two, one. Boom. We don't get anything again. We get Naomi. Is this at least Stone Cold Steve Austin? I don't know why I expected anything different, to be perfectly honest, guys. Let's see where the Goliath is. Sami Zayn. <laughs> Useless. <laughs> so there we have it, guys. Some pretty disappointing Team Battleground rewards. So I'm going to call this video quits, guys. I'm going to shoot off, get myself some fluids in me, and just, just you know, conk out on in, in my bed and just stay there for however long this cold decides to stick with me. But that's wrapping up this video, guys. Let me know how you guys are getting on in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, regardless of how I sounded, I apologize if my, you know, my mood in this video kind of put you guys off. I hope that's not the case and you enjoyed it regardless of how I feel. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe today for more content to come soon. But more importantly, guys, please take care and I will see you all next time. Ta-da, guys.